Hello. Good evening. How are we all? Hello. How are we? Hello. Uh, welcome along. It is Thursday, the 8th of July. Uh, how many people are suffering a little bit this, this morning? It's not even morning. It's afternoon. It's not even afternoon. It's evening. This is a great start. Shall I come back in and start again? Hi. Uh, uh, how are we all? Yeah, it's Thursday, the 8th of July. How are we all? I bet there are some very, very fuzzy people this morning. This uh, is not going well already um anyway thank you very much for joining us um if you are new you're probably wondering what on earth is going on uh but we get started with a virtual pub quiz in about 24 minutes time we come in early and say hello to all the wonderful people who are playing across the world so thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, all you need to know is 50 questions uh, spread across five rounds as a picture round and all sorts of other bits and pieces as well so yeah that's all you need to know grab yourselves a pen and a piece of paper um to play along or you have two other options to play for those of you who do play with quiz jockey you'll be pleased to know quiz jockey is back after its uh, rest on saturday night uh, for obvious reasons um with uh, everything that was going on on Saturday night. So Quiz Jockey is back, so get yourselves logged in. I know there's hundreds and hundreds of you already on Quiz Jockey getting logged in on there, so great to see. Uh, or you can play interactively as well on the app as well. Uh, so if you head on over to your app stores and search for Jay's Virtual Pub Quiz. There we go. Thank you for bailing me out of that, Andrew. It is morning somewhere in the world. I will take that. Uh, that bails me out of that <laughs> that sort of faux pas but anyway uh, but yeah hope you well if you do want to get in touch as you always do you most of you if you've been playing before you know the drill hashtag jay's virtual pub quiz if you are new and you want to let us know you're playing uh it's all there in the corner just under my hand now there we go just by as if by magic uh yeah hashtag jay's virtual pub quiz um bex is over on social media this evening so she will send me some of the better ones but yeah how are we all how are we all doing <laughs> Sorry, I was reading something. Yeah, how are we all doing? Um, not so. I, I have you know Thursday morning, getting up at half seven in the morning, so I'm not as fuzzy as I probably should have been. I was a bit fuzzy this morning doing uh, Zuri Ball's breakfast show. Um, but that was as usual, good fun, great fun as always. But yeah, um, and roll on Sunday. But we've got two quizzes to do before then, so we'll just you know, th put the football to one side for now. Um, but yeah, so yeah, do get in touch. Loads of people, as always, getting in touch already, so I've got loads of people to say hello to. Um, but yeah, all good, I think. We yeah no anyway let's say hello let's start saying hello to people I'm I've lost my complete train of thought today anyway hello let's start with in fact let's start on Twitter um hello to Tom Picton again um who is absolutely right he's put a meme on there uh, which basically says uh, uh, looking good so far for fifty out of fifty and it's like dominoes and then there's my ha hand it's not my hand but his hand to make it look like me saying not on my watch. Yeah, it's very true. Uh, set you up for thinking you might get 50 out of 50 and then make it a little bit trickier towards the end. Uh, but yeah, so hello to you, um, Tom and all the Pictons. Hope you're all well. Um, hi, Jay. Oh, sorry. Huzzah. Huzzah to you too, Anva. Uh, could you wish my lovely Mrs. Deborah Anderson a happy big birthday for yesterday, please? Uh, I won't say how old she was, but she's looking good on six decades. <laughs> Oh, I love the way you put that. Uh, we've been quizzing with you from day one and love it. Train. Yeah, so many people have seen that video on that Bex put up last week uh, from after the England game last week of uh, how close the actual trains are, including someone who thought is literally responded with, I didn't realise it went through his garden. No, it doesn't go through the garden. There is a fence. Um, although we were sort of trying to see if we could find, we were looking the other day at um, old abandoned um, and disused train carriages because we thought that might be quite cool, you know, chop it right down and have like a little miniature version in the garden or something to sit in. But yeah, that was um, a random crazy idea that we, <laughs> we had um, the, other, the other day when we were looking at trains. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, happy birthday, Deborah. Hope you had a very, very good day yesterday. Uh, hello to Kerry Ann as well. Good evening to Kerry and Paul. I hope you both are okay as well. Uh, Rose Jenner says, I'll be there after Zumba where we can work off all the pent up excitement. See you later on. Got you. <laughs> I understand that. I, I get that completely and utterly. Uh, but yeah, hope you're all well as well. Um, shout out to Carolyn and Katie who are currently on their way for bottomless brunch, but will no doubt be drunk by the time quiz starts. Wish us luck. I think we might need it. We'll still be there. We haven't missed the quiz yet. Well, uh, cheers, ladies. Uh, I hope you've had a very, very good day with your bottomless brunch. How long does bottomless brunch run for? I know it says bottomless brunch, but that's normally like an 11 o'clock start. Are you uh, incredible place? Let us know where that is because that sounds like a great place to have a, 
have a have a day out. Um, hello to uh, shout to shout out to my mum and dad, uh, Patrick and Emma, and my little brother Ollie. Please, well, oh, I know who that is. Yeah, hello, hi, Pat and Emma. Uh, Pat and Emma are the uh, chairman and chairman's lady, chairman's wife of uh, Northwest Spurs uh, Supporters Club, who put on an incredible event a couple of weeks ago where we had. Um, we had uh, Northwest Spurs select 11 against uh, a team of Tottenham legends and I was there for the day. It was a really good day. They did really well. So hello to both of you. Hope you are both well. Uh, we will catch up with you guys soon, no doubt. Um, but yeah, uh, so hello to you guys. Uh, hi, Jay. Please, could I have a shout out and a belated happy birthday to quizzes, Julie and Jenny? Of course you can. Uh, happy belated birthday to Julie and Jenny. Uh, and that's from Richard. So uh, happy birthday to you guys. Uh, please, could you give a shout out to Amanda and Andy Burton, who should be doing the quiz tonight, eating pasties in a tent in Cornwall, but been waiting since yesterday. Oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, instead, we are sat on a sofa in uh, in Reading, surrounded by camping equipment and pyjamas. Why don't you see if you've if you got a little bit of space in the garden, stick tent up in the garden, go and have some fun in the garden. Uh, that'll do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I uh, hope you guys are safe. I uh, hope, um, hope the result comes back in the way that you want it as well so that you're not having to uh, having to stay in too long. Uh, let's see what else have we got. Uh, hello, looking forward to your Thursday quiz as always. Uh, that's from Tizzy Perkins. When will we crack 50? Perhaps tonight's the night. It could quite possibly be the night tonight. There's a round, round three is a round that so many people have been asking for for ages. Uh, so that is making a welcome return for you this evening. I'll talk to you a bit more about that in a little while. So that will be uh, good for some of you tonight. Maybe not so much for others. Is there, yeah. See how we go. Uh, but yeah, so that is, there's a nice round there for round three for this evening. Uh, but yeah, good luck. Good luck to you guys tonight. Uh, will you crack the 50? Let us know afterwards, as you always do. Um, please give a shout out to Ian and Judith, who have been doing the quiz since week seven. Uh, love your quizzes every time. Keep it up. Well, thank you very much. Uh, and thank you very much for being with us. Uh, very much appreciate everybody's company. Um, so, um, sorry, some. <laughs> I'll, I'll come back to the YouTube live chat in a minute. Someone just caught my caught my eye over there. Uh, but yeah, hello Ian and Judith. Uh, welcome along again. Uh, hello to Kim Perry as well. Uh, says hi Jay, Alex, and Bex. Hope you use are all well and thank you for your fab quizzes. They are so much fun. Well, thank you very much for playing. It wouldn't be possible if you guys weren't playing. I'd be sat here talking to myself. I am sat here talking to myself. I am quite aware of that fact. However, there wouldn't be anyone on the other end. So if it wasn't for you guys playing along, so thank you very much for joining us as always. Uh, please can you shout out to Christine? Happy birthday. Uh, We've been with you from the start and do the quiz in two different households. Still not got the elusive 50, but maybe today. Maybe that's what we're missing a trick. Maybe we should have got like somewhere to do little trophies that say, I finally got 50 out of 50. And then because there's loads, there's another shout out here as well, actually. Uh, hi, Jay. Shout out for the Quiz Kings. Deb and Joe still hoping for the elusive 50 out of 50. It's true. So many of you are desperately trying to get 50 out of 50. Um, but yeah, so uh, welcome. <laughs> Good luck to everyone tonight. It, it always seems to be those who are really seriously going for it. Get to sort of 48 or 49. And there's just one question that just trips people out trips people up but um i don't think there's anything in the quiz tonight that will, what is going on in my hair i don't think there's anything in the quiz tonight that will um massively trip you up it should be one it should be one of those that you'll even know or you won't what on earth is up with my hair tonight um right where did i get to because i scuttled down for that one because it caught my eye uh, la, la, da, da, da. uh hello to sue and mike from wimborne in dorset good evening to you guys hope you're well I hope you're staying safe as well. Uh, Bill Tudor was watching the Hampton Court Flower Show last night. I don't blame you, Bill. There wasn't anything else major on, really, to watch. So Hampton Court Flower Show sounds good. I caught a bit of the live stream of um, Goodwood Festival of Speed earlier as well, which was uh, quite cool. That was live on YouTube, so I caught bits of that. Nothing else really going on, is there, Bill? Nothing major. No. <laughs> um, so hello to you, Bill. Hope you hope you're well. Hope you're staying safe. Uh, evening to Sarah Brogan as well, um, who is quizzing. Um, well, it says, well, what a win for England last night. And quiz tonight. This week just gets better and better and better and better. Excellent. Uh, well, how are you, Sarah? I hope you're well. Uh, friends of mine were in uh, in your park on last Saturday, I think they were. Uh, said they had a wonderful time walking around, uh, walking around uh, Thomas Land and stuff. So, yeah, they uh, very much enjoyed themselves. 
Uh, hello to Anne Robinson. Hi, Jay. Thursdays would not be the same without you. Oh, oh bless you. Thank you. Uh, my granddad and nanny have done your quizzes from the start against four other family households. Wow. And keeping a rolling chart of the results. <laughs> hey, I love that. Can you please give our granddad Andy Robinson from Beadle, North Yorkshire, a birthday shout out tonight as it's his actual birthday? Sending lots of love from Maddie and Zach. Yeah, happy birthday to granddad Andy Robinson. Hope you've had a really, really good day today. Uh, and you've been spoiled rotten by everyone. Um, and yeah, uh, are you top of your, uh, your rolling chart as well? Who's actually winning overall? That'd be interesting to see. Uh, I'll come back to that one in just a second. Uh, hi Jay, can you wish happy 16th birthday to my daughter, Heather? Of course you can. Um, love from mum and dad, AKA Bob and Papa, uh, Nana Carol, Auntie Rita, Uncle Roy and Auntie Jen. Well, there we go. Uh, happy 16th birthday, Heather. Uh, again, hope you've had a really, really good day as well. Uh, hope you are all well and staying safe. Uh, hello to Janet Creer. Uh, hope you're well as well. Uh, John Peck says, please give a shout out to my wife, Brenda. It's our fourth wedding anniversary today, but we're still playing the quiz. Awesome. Bless you. Uh, well, hello to you both. Hope you're well. Hello, John and Brenda. And congratulations on your fourth wedding anniversary. Um, hello to our uh, our two friends over in Sweden from the two weird dots above the I still love the fact that you've got that as your um, as your team name. That's just brilliant. And I do genuinely hope that if you get to I don't know whether they do quizzes in Sweden like this, but uh, I do really, really hope that you can, um, you know, you can use that at some quiz night at some point, because I think that would be absolutely awesome. Um, that would be really, really cool to know that. Uh, <laughs> Random thing in there. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys are both staying well and safe over there. Um... <laughs> so Dawn Campbell, I am so tired from last night. Would have gone to bed early, but I won't. I'll be doing the quiz as always. Bless you. I've got somebody who sat over to my left who is uh, quite exhausted as well, I believe, from uh, last night as well. Um, but soldiering on, so yeah, um, bless you. But yeah, thank you very much, as always, for joining us. Um, Linda says, just number two son and me again tonight. Uh, his wife is out at a dancing class. We did get 43 last week, so aren't doing too badly on our own. Well, does that either say that the missing points that could have got you to 50 out of 50 of, are currently at a dancing class, or are you saying that you're better off just the two of you? I'll leave that to you guys. <laughs> um... Oh, my phone is pinging. That means Bex has got loads of um, lovely stuff from the social post. So I'll go on to those in just a sec. Um, morning, Jay. Newbie Linda and Claire here. Please, can we have a shout out for us and the other half of the Big World Arts, Claire and Brian? Uh, we need to get more than 35 tonight. Well, good luck. I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine without any shadow of a doubt. I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, where's that other one? I've lost it. There it is. Um, Victoria as well. Could you please wish Sharon and Stan a lovely time at their daughter's wedding in Cyprus, please? Oh, I went to a wedding in Cyprus a couple of years ago it was beautiful uh if possible after 8 p.m as i'm not sure what time they start watching the quiz well uh hopefully they've caught this uh victoria if not you can uh snip it and then send it to them and say that they did say that we did it uh but yeah could you please wish sharon and stan uh so yeah have uh have a great time at your daughter's wedding in cyprus beautiful uh i literally because i was running the pub i flew in uh sort of day before and then flew back out on uh, the day after the wedding but yeah it was beautiful lovely country actually cyprus um so yeah uh, hope you are all well. Enjoy it. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun over there. There has it gone. That one there. That one there. That one there. Um, could I also give uh, Jenny Parry a shout out tonight as she had a hip replacement on Monday. Uh, she came home Tuesday and is already up and about. That is that's determination. That uh, we're all wishing her a speedy recovery from her husband Andy Parry, uh, from Jebra Normski, Joe, Anya, and Erin. All of the undis undiscovered. So yeah, hope you are all well. Um, but yeah, hope you're okay. Um, well, that's interesting. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Andrew Fisher. None of us are actually muting. None of us are muting you because it's only myself and Beck who can mute. Um, so we're not muting you. It's out of our control. We've not muted anyone yet. <laughs> uh, hel uh, hello. Can I get a shout? <laughs> yeah, all right. I nearly fell for that. Well played, uh, well played, Mr. Jackson. Well played. I very, very nearly fell for that if I hadn't have read it and the fact that you've spelt it with a different letter. Well, well played. Uh, right, these are what Bex has sent over. Uh, please, can you say a huge congratulations to Sophie and Nathan, the, the newlyweds? Of course, you can. Hello to both of you. Congratulations, guys. I hope you've had. I hope you had a really, really, really good day. Uh, please say happy 18th birthday to Abby Butler. Love her lots. Love from her nan. Happy birthday to you. 
Um, hi, Jay, please could you say hi to my mum and dad, Jean, and John from Hambleton? Um, they've been, you guys have been doing the quiz from the first day. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us as always. Hope you're, you're both safe. Uh, hello to Jessica Walsh and all of your family as well. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, and also Adam, who's logging in from the Philippines as well. Good evening to you. Uh, hope you're okay as well. Um, hope you're staying safe over there in the Philippines. Hope you're okay. Uh, uh, do, do, do. Uh, right, while I'm waiting for some more of those from Bex, I'm going to jump in. So YouTube live chat is open. Uh, please. Oh, hang on. Oh, I missed one. All right. Yeah, I'll get to that in a sec. I'm, it's in the YouTube live um, um, yeah, so please don't spam the YouTube live chat because we'll just skip over um, because it just blocks it up and then I can't see. So, yeah, just put it in once and then uh, I'm going through them now. So, hello to our usual YouTube uh, conversation starting team of BT. Hello to you, Christine Shaler. Good evening, Clyde Banks. Hello to you, Claire Baker. Uh, hope you're well, Catherine Summerfield. Good evening to you as well. Making sure I get everyone on this early on our early group. Hello to Andrew Fisher, who, yeah, like I said, we're not muting you, we're not doing it. It's not us. Please don't hold it against us. It's definitely not us. Uh, so hello to all of the early crew on the YouTube live chat. Hope you guys are all well. Uh, let's scroll down, see what we had. Uh, hello to Catherine. Uh, Catherine Summerfield. Yes, I already, I already said hello. Sorry, I'm missing. Lost the plot there for a second, um, which is quite difficult when you've not got a plot to lose. <laughs> um doo -doo -doo. Steve Collins, good evening. Uh, just up the road. Hope you're well as well. Uh, Steve Conway, who is on the mend, which is great to know, and staying over there in, in Spain and absolutely uh, keeping himself very, very uh, nice and toasty, I believe, in Spain. Uh, so he's got the after sun applied. I don't blame him. It's about 38 degrees over there today, would not over in Spain, I would have thought. Uh, but yeah, hello to you. Hope you're well. Uh, uh just scrolling through the youtube live let's see what we've got usually when i say that it then goes nuts hello to louise brown good evening to you uh count duckula good evening to you hope you're well as well uh kelly joe phillips hello jay it's the phillips four from israel good evening to you guys hope you guys are staying safe over there uh joining us tonight are michelle and derek from london too uh so hello to all of you guys uh the six of you hope you're all well um and uh, yeah i hope you're saying uh, hope you're staying safe over there uh in israel although your uh, your program seems to be one of the strongest in the world so uh but yeah hope you guys are all staying safe Hello to Unique Mac. Good evening to you. Rosemary Strong and all of the Strongs. Hello to you guys. Uh, the Meadows family from Banbury. Good evening to you. And um, da -da. Gary Jeffries. Oh, welcome along. First time. Hey, welcome along. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, yeah, um, we get started very, very soon. Uh, so, yeah. Um, about seven minutes to go. Scrap your pen and paper if you want to play that way. Uh, happy birthday to Helen Fox. Uh, she's done the quiz from day one and loves it. Uh, I'm joining her tonight to bring her average score down. Bless you. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Hello to you as well, Rob. But yeah, happy birthday, Helen. I um, hope you're well and I hope you've had a very, very good day. I uh, hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, hello to Sue Clay as well. Um, hi from Miss Nichols from uh, sat with my sat with a mum with a new notebook. Awesome, uh, love the fact that you've got a new notebook. Uh, so yeah, hope you are well as well. Hi Jay, could I have a shout out for my mum Fiona Cowan? Uh, she's been playing since week one and she absolutely loves it. Uh, it'll make her day if you can give her a shout out. Well, hello Fiona, welcome along. Hope you're okay. Uh, hope you're well as well. Hope you're staying safe. Uh, hello to Silver Moon, who's in East Midlands. Good evening to you. Uh, hope you are well. Do, do, do. Uh, could I get a shout out for my girlfriend, Joni? Uh, she loves the quiz and she's not feeling too well right now. Well, hope, hopefully you're feeling better soon uh, and on the men, Joni. Uh, but yeah, welcome along. Thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, hello to Emma uh, Emma Hamill. Happy birthday to you from all of the Falcons in Wakefield. So I hope you've had a really, really, really good day um scrolling down hello to dawny in ipswich good evening to you hello to the smedleys hope you're all well as well um do, 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 do. uh the col whoa come back go back 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 
refreshing my screen. How dare they? Uh, <laughs> oh, where's it gone? Where did I get to? There we go. Uh, the Collie Hearts of Cumbria. Good evening to you guys. Uh, hope you guys are well. Um, hello. Big shout out to my quiz buddy who handed in their dissertation this week. You rock, Dave. Yes, well done. Uh, well done for handing your dissertation in. Uh, I'd do you know what? I genuinely would love to say that I understand the university, but I lasted three months of college before quitting. So um, yeah, I didn't even make it. Uh, I made it three years, made it three months outside of school, and then went. No, this isn't for me. I'm going straight into work, and then worked from uh, age sixteen. So, uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, fair play to anyone who does go all the way through uni. I know it's. Uh, I, I understand it's hard work. I'd love to say I understood that it how hard it is, but I don't. Um, but yeah, well done to you. Uh, shout out to Mark McCourt in Boston who broke his wrist this week in a freak yachting accident. Ouch. Uh, well, hope you hope you're on the mend, Mark. Uh, I hope it wasn't too uh, too painful. How how did you get stuck in the rope or something when the like the thing? Yeah. Anyway, uh, but yeah, hope you hope you're on the hope you're on the mend, uh, and hope you uh, hope you're uh, staying safe. Uh, hello to Jordan Burney and uh, Jimmy Fev. Good evening to you guys. Hello to Simon, Jack, and Darcy. Uh, hello to Ellen and Holly. Uh, that's from Lauren. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, hello to Marie Povey down there in the wonderful Sheerness. Uh, so hope you hope you're well down there. Do, do, do. Uh, hello to Karen Harris, who sat removing her makeup. That's a, <laughs> she probably didn't want everyone to know that, but there you go. Uh, so hello to you. Uh, hello to Nicola Ryle, who's doing the quiz on holiday in Devon. Uh, Catherine, in to Catherine and Tom in Horsham. Good evening to you guys. Uh, hello to the Mablethorpes in Northamptonshire. Bless you. I wasn't sure if you were sneezing or what. There's <laughs> that random noise from the corner. Um, so yeah, <laughs> hello to the Mablethorpes in Northamptonshire. Um, Pat, favourite Scott, just says, Hi Jay, on me Todd tonight. Fellow quizzes are busy glamping. Well, they'll still be playing in their tent, no doubt. Um, hello to Sheila as well. I uh, hope you are okay. Uh, hello to Barry, Val and Gary from Pagham, West Sussex. Good evening to you guys. Um, please can I have a shout out for my girlfriend Katie Warren whose birthday is on Monday and a big fan happy birthday to you uh, hello from a car park in Tintagel okay <laughs> hello to you Andrew hope you're well um, I'm sure you have a, a random reason for me in there um, please wish a happy birthday to Hugh Williams from the quiz crew good evening to you happy birthday Hugh um, Hannah is enjoying a birthday gin in Oswald Twistle uh, that's I can look out the window and see Ozzy it's only up the road um, so hello to you happy birthday uh, can I have a shout out to the uh, the Musprats from Blackpool who've been playing since uh, day one good evening guys hope you're well uh, hello to Maisie and Millie uh, who also have been playing since week one um hello from ross and hannah in manchester happy birthday to Catherine walters uh da, 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 da. and then last couple and then i need to switch that down um happy birthday to jeanette edwards can't say her age but the beatles sang about it many years from now <laughs> bless you and happy birthday to leon who has just turned 12 uh so yes yeah, so there you go happy birthday to everyone if it is your birthday i'm just going to so the youtube live chat is now switched off if you are playing with us for the first time uh so we switched the youtube live chat off so that you don't have um so that people can't put the, people were putting the answers in the comments which is not what we wanted uh so the youtube live chat is now switched off uh the facebook live chat is on because we can't switch that off uh but yeah please don't put your answers in the comments please don't do that um just grab a pen and paper and write them down let's say hello to our patrons in our discord server as well hello to tamara hope you're both well mr alan jackson who very nearly got me with one of his uh, joke shout outs uh, good evening to you hope you're okay hello to julian hobby hope you're both well bon oliver uh, hashtag fan girl and ben hope you two are both staying safe i don't know why you've got a pigeon on your head vicky i really don't but i'm sure there's a reason behind it stevenage panda team hello to you guys uh two's company hello uh martin leach good evening to you dave and sue uh ken and sarah good evening to you guys they haven't got their secret weapons you'll be fine uh hello to sarah roberts uh ian roberts and the mini quizzes hope you guys are okay probably shouldn't have said mini quizzes because now they're going to hear that from upstairs and come in charging down and want to uh want to um 
want to come and play the quiz. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Simon Robinson, good evening. Hello to Lee, hope you're well. Uh, hello to Roxy and Paul. How long have we got? 45 seconds, plenty of time. Uh, Sue Ash Beadle and Hobby, hope you're both well as well. Hello to Shezza, hope you're doing okay. Mill Lane Mob are sort of sneaking in there somewhere, so hello to you guys. Uh, Two's Company, don't know if I got you guys already, but hello Two's Company. Yeah, there's a middle name mob. Uh, Jeff and Fee, good evening to you guys. Uh, White Ridge Social Club, uh, Trumpet Inn at Evesham, Sid and Lisa, and I think, uh, yeah, I think that's everyone in there. I've almost got this perfectly timed. It's like I planned it. Right, here we go then. So you've got eight seconds to go. Oh, no, I haven't planned it. See, it was all going so well. Uh, that one. There we go. Fire that across. Here we go. Right. So it is Thursday, the 8th of July. Thank you very, very much for joining us. We have 50 questions in front of us. Uh, 50 questions to go. Uh, we start, as we always do, with a picture round. 10 random pictures for you, starting with this one. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> so your picture round then, number one. Who is this for number one? So who is this for number one? Uh, number two, name the country from the flag. Name the country from the flag for number two. Remember, these are all UN countries. So hopefully you've been doing your research to look at what the flags are of UN countries are. Uh, number three, name the bank from this logo. So name the bank from this logo. Uh, number four, this is the Notre Dame Basilica, uh, but in which country can it be found? I've not pronounced that right at all, have I? Uh, this is the Notre Dame Basilica, but in which country can it be found? Question number five. Uh, it's deliberately sort of blurred, but th what is this a zoomed in picture of? <laughs> so what is this a zoomed in picture of? Uh, number six, name the game pictured here. So name the game pictured here for number six. Uh, number seven, name the famous car pictured here. Name the famous car pictured here. Uh, number eight, name the website from this logo. So name the website from this logo. 
And if you are with us new for the first time and these are going a little bit quicker than you normally used to playing other quizzes, uh, they all get put up on our social media in the breaks. They're up on Twitter and Instagram in the break. So you can go back over and have a look uh, there in the break. If you need more time with them. Uh, number nine, who are these three known as collectively? I forgot about this question and that's not going to get stuck in my head, that theme tune. And finally, number 10, which car brand would you find these on? So which car brand would you find these on? Oh, hey, oh, what's gone? Mm -hmm. Hold that, that thought. One sec, bear with me a sec. Because that says round three, but it's not. It's supposed to be round two. What's gone on here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, that's fine. It's there. Uh, right, so round two, not round three. Round two is entertainment as always. That just completely and utterly uh, thrashed my head. Uh, but here we go. Question number one. Uh, complete the name of the animals hit House of the Rising what? So complete the name of the animals hit House of the Rising what? Uh, question number two, what did the devil wear according to the title of the 2006 film? So what did the devil wear according to the title of the 2006 film? Ah, I'm on the wrong one. Uh, question number three. What was the first name of presenter and chat show host Parkinson? So what was the first name of presenter and chat show host Parkinson? There is a real possibility if you're playing on Quiz Jockey tonight, you might end up having your score out of 60, but we'll worry about that when we get to the end of the quiz. Uh, number four, what kind of oddity did David Bowie sing about in the 70s? So what kind of oddity did David Bowie sing about in the 70s? Uh, number five, in which film would you find Veronica Corningstone and Ron Burgundy? There is two possible answers and I've got them both. But in which film would you find Veronica Corningstone and Ron Burgundy? Uh, question number six, Noel Edmonds, Bruno Brooks, Anthea Turner and Joe Wiley have all presented which music TV show? If you are just joining us, ignore what it says at the top. I know it says round three, but just ignore it. It is round two at the moment. There's a slight glitch in the background. Uh, but yeah, question number six, Noel Edmonds, Bruno Brooks, Anthea Turner and Joe Wiley have all presented which music TV show?
Number seven, this was an article that came out today. To celebrate the 25th anniversary of their song, Wannabe, a company has declared which Spice Girl song the most played of all time. Is it Wannabe, Who Do You Think You Are, or Two Become One? But to celebrate the 25th anniversary of their song, Wannabe, a company has declared which Spice Girl song the most played of all time. Wannabe, who do you think you are, or two become one? Uh, question number eight. Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington starred in the 1993 thriller, The What Brief? So Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington starred in the 1993 thriller The What Brief. Uh, number nine, Dara O'Brien is the host of which long-running topical comedy panel show? So Dara O'Brien is the host of which long-running topical comedy panel show? And finally then, question number 10, which group had hits with Chasing Cars, Signal Fire and Run? So which group had hits with Chasing Cars, Signal Fire and Run? So now round four, but it's actually round three. So just ignore what it, no, don't ignore what it says on screen. Uh, but yes, yeah, so round four is art and literature uh, for you. A lot of people have been asking for this over the last few weeks. So here we go, art and literature. There's all sorts in here for you. Number one, ignore the fact that it says round four. It is round three, round three, round three. Uh, who created the Mr. Men and Little Miss characters? So who created the Mr. Men and Little Miss characters? That might work. Uh, number two, uh, which famous murder mystery writer wrote the play The Mousetrap? So which famous murder mystery writer wrote the play The Mousetrap? Regulars will know that we have three rounds and then have a break. Question number three, with which dance style would you associate the terms plie, pirouette, and arabesque? So with which dance style would you associate the terms plie, pirouette, and arabesque? Uh, number four, which artist sculpted, nah, start again, which artist sculpted works include Pieta and David? So which, which artist sculpted works included Pieta and David? Question number five, who wrote the poem? The Raven. 
So who wrote the poem, The Raven? Uh, number six, uh, which musical was performed in its entirety on roller skates? So which musical was performed in its entirety on roller skates? Uh, number seven, who wrote the novel Wuthering Heights? So who wrote the novel Wuthering Heights? Uh, number eight, according to the books, at which train station would you find platform nine and three quarters? So according to the books, at which train station would you find platform nine and three quarters? Uh, question nine, which famous comic book writer was born Stanley Martin Lieber? So which famous comic book writer was born Stanley Martin Lieber? And finally, question ten. Uh, name one of the Name one of the surnames of the comic opera writers whose works included HMS Pinafore, The Pirates of Penzance, and The Mikado. You only have to name one of the surnames. So, name one of the surnames of the comic opera writers whose works included HMS Pinafore, The Pirates of Penzance, and The Mikado. You only need one for the point. Okay, so that is your first 30 questions for this evening. If you head on over to social media, they'll be up on Twitter and Instagram in the break for you. So if you need a bit more time, head on over there. Uh, so we're going to take a short break now, give you time to chat with your teams and do whatever you need to do or have a look at those, an uh, those questions or those answers. Make sure you're entering your answers, etc. If you're playing on Quiz Jockey, get yourself sorted, go and grab a drink and we'll be back with you shortly. See you soon. <laughs>
Uh, yeah, so I've just had a look at Quiz Jockey in the background. So for those, it, the rounds are still there. There's still five rounds, and don't worry, you still get marked in the right way. Uh, but for some reason tonight, we are numbering the rounds. One, three, four, five, five. But at least you've still got five rounds. At least they're all going to appear on screen as well, which is always a, a positive as well. So uh, yeah, no, everything looks fine in the background. Um, yeah, so it's one, three, four, five, five. Um, it's having a, having one of its moments. See, it's, it's rebelling against me because we didn't put Quiz Jockey on on Saturday night. That's the reason. It's like, nope. If you're not gonna, if you're not gonna play with me on Saturday night, I'm going to cause you a problem tonight. It's fine. There's still five rounds, so you're okay. Um, but yeah. So I'll give you about another thirty seconds to get your answers together. And if you are playing on Quiz Jockey, get your um, uh, get your answers locked in. 
Uh, yeah, congratulations to Felix, who passed his driving test today. Ah, oh, congratulations. Welcome to freedom and driving on the road. Um, so, yeah. Hello to you, Felix. Hope you are. And congratulations on passing your driving test. Right. Uh, let me do that. And then do that and then do that and then remove that because that doesn't make any sense at this point. There we go. Right. Uh, so picture round then. <laughs> uh, let's give you the answers then to your picture round. We started then with number one. Uh, so who is this? That is Emma Radakanu. Uh, bless her. Did really, really well at Wimbledon. Really, really impressed. She is definitely going to be one for the future. Um, it's good to see that like, uh, women's tennis uh, for the Brits is in good uh, in good hands at the moment. Joanna Conter and Laura Robson, etc. So one of them, I think, will be a future champion at some point. Uh, number two, name the country. That is Ecuador. Do, 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 do. But yeah, Ecuador is the country for number two. Uh, number three, name the bank. It is the Royal Bank of Scotland. Uh, number four, this is the Notre Dame Basilica, but in which country can it be found? It's in Canada. L all of you went for France, but that is not the, Cana the, the French Notre Dame. It is the Canadian Notre Dame Basilica. Uh, number five, <laughs> well played, Wendy. Uh, what is this a zoomed in picture of? It is a grater. Number six, name the game. It is the iconic, the classic snake. That's when they used to make phones that worked for phone calls and text messages and then chucked the game in just for a bit of fun. Uh, number seven, name the famous car. Uh, it's Herbie the Love Bug. If you've just put Herbie, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, Herbie the Love Bug. Uh, number eight, name the website. That is Reddit. <laughs> sorry uh number nine who are these three known as collectively it's the animaniacs it's not atomic kitten they are not atomic kitten <laughs> uh, finally number 10 which car brand would you find these on uh they it's the flying ladies on rolls royce Uh, round two stroke round three stroke who knows anymore uh, is your entertainment number one uh, complete the name of the animals hit uh, house of the rising it's house of the rising sun there is a house in your uh, number two what did the devil wear according to the title of the 2006 film uh, it's prada Uh, number three, what was the first name of presenter and chat show host at Parkinson? It was Michael. Number four, what kind of oddity did David Bowie sing about in the 70s? It was space. Number six, uh, in which film would you find Veronica Corningstone and Ron Burgundy? You can have either of these. So Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Or Anchorman 2, the legend continues. If you have just put Anchorman, I'll give you the point as well. I'm not going to be that that person. Uh, but yes, Anchorman, the legend of Ron Burgundy, and Anchorman 2, the legend continues is where you will find both of those characters. Uh, number six, Noel Edmonds, Bruno Brooks, Anthea Turner, and Joe Wiley have all presented which music TV show? It's Top of the Pops. Number eight, uh, num no, number seven even, not number eight, number seven. Uh, to celebrate the 25th anniversary of their song, Wannabe, a company has declared which Spice Girls song the most played of all time. It's Who Do You Think You Are? Article I read this morning. Um, I don't know why that would be the most played of all time. Surely Wannabe. Uh, but this is official music licensing, people. So yeah, Who Do You Think You Are? I'd have thought, really, To Become One would have been played more than Who Do You Think You Are? Because surely that gets played more at weddings, To Become One. Anyway. 
I don't make the rules. Uh, number eight, uh, Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington starred in the 1993 thriller, uh, The Pelican Brief. Number nine, Dara O'Brien is the host of which long-running topical comedy panel show? It's Mock the Week. And number 10, which group had hits with Chasing Cars, Signal Fire and Run? It was Snow Patrol. Art and literature then for you. Round three. Ignore what it says in the top left hand corner. Uh, number one, who created the Mr. Men and Little Miss characters? Bless you. Uh, it was Roger Hargreaves. <laughs> Wait, they aren't real. If you want to believe they are real, Nat and Remote Tom, you can believe they are real. Number two, which famous murder mystery writer wrote the play The Mouse Trapped? Agatha Christie. Number three, with which dance style would you associate the terms plie, pirouette, and arabesque? It is ballet. <laughs> Number four, which artist sculpted works included Pieta and David? It is Michelangelo. <laughs> I love that. Well played, Nick. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle had the orange mask. Uh, number five, who wrote the poem The Raven? Uh, it was Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, number six, which musical was performed in its entirety on roller skates? Uh, Starlight Express. Number seven, who wrote the novel Wuthering Heights? It was Emily Bronte of the Bronte Sisters. Number eight, according to the books, at which train station would you find platform nine and three quarters? Uh, it's King's Cross. Unfortunately, there's not a train station called Harry Potter, but I can see where you, what your logic was. Uh, but yeah, King's Cross is the answer. It was the station we wanted. Uh, number nine, which famous comic book writer was born Stanley Martin Lieber? It was Stanley. And number 10, either of these for a point. Name one of the surnames of the comic opera writers whose works included HMS Pinafore, The Pirates of Penzance and The Mikado. It was Gilbert and Sullivan. So either of those will get you the point. There we go. So uh, that is the first part of your quiz. Tot, your scores up. How are you getting on? As Tom says, how many of you are on 30 out of 30, ready to be knocked down in the hope that you were going to get 50 out of 50, and then it all come, comes crashing down in the final two rounds? Let us know, as always, how you're getting on. Just going to make sure Sneezy McGee's okay. <laughs> Don't have to apologise. If you need to sneeze, just sneeze instead of, did you, did you? <laughs> well, that's controversial. Yeah, so not bad scores. So far, so far, so good. So far, so good. So two rounds still to come. We've got a connections round. Ten, nine questions. Question number 10. What links all of the answers together? I think it's fairly easy tonight, if I'm honest. Um, all ready for next week's, which is a bit trickier. But yeah, so I think it's going to be... Uh, it should be simple, I think, really. Um, most of the questions, the link does, to me, appear very obvious. But I wrote the questions and it would appear obvious. Uh, so yeah, connections round and then general knowledge to finish your last 10 questions so general knowledge will have uh, some current affairs stuff in there and then other bits and pieces so. okay hopefully you've swapped your answer sheets back around let's get into it let's push that button there so here we go connections around then yeah so as i say nine questions question number 10 what links them all together alan jackson is not monopoly and he's not variations of monopoly i know i've done it three times because i wasn't paying attention but it's definitely not monopoly here we go. Question number one. What name is given what name is given to the cold-blooded vertebrate animals with gills and fins living wholly in the water? Don't know, need to go too extreme on this one. And it'll make sense when you start getting the link. Uh, so what name is given to the cold-blooded vertebrate animals with gills and fins living wholly in water?
And I know it says round five in the top corner. It's not round five. It's round four. I'm just going to try and hide. I can't even. No, never mind. Uh, number two. Uh, complete the name of the vegetable fat spread. I can't believe it's not what? So complete the name of the vegetable fat spread. I can't believe it's not what? Number three, someone who is described as showing a modest or low estimate of someone's importance is described as being what? Someone who is described as showing a modest or low estimate of someone's importance is described as being what? Remember, if you're not sure, come back to it once you've got the connection, if you get the connection, you can come back and do it. Uh, number four, what is the main name given to meat from a pig? So what is the main name given to meat from a pig? Uh, number five, what name is given to the whiskey beginning with S? I had to do this because otherwise it would have got a bit confusing. Uh, but what name is given to the whiskey beginning with S that must be aged in oak barrels for at least three years? So what name is given to the whiskey beginning with S that must be aged in oak barrels for at least three years? Uh, number six, what word beginning with C can describe a small house or holiday home typically found in the countryside? So what word beginning with C can describe a small house or holiday home typically found in the countryside? Uh, question seven, what vegetable is traditionally carved at Halloween? So what vegetable is traditionally carved at Halloween? Uh, question number eight, what word can go before airline and express to make new company names? So what word can go before airline and express to make new company names? Uh, question number nine, Tim Cook replaced Steve Jobs as CEO of which brand? So Tim Cook replaced Steve Jobs as the CEO of which brand? So 
So question 10, as always, what links them all together? What links those nine answers? What's the common link between the nine words? So your final round, it's another round five for you. Uh, general knowledge, for those of you who are new, general knowledge is our way of saying general. It's a long story, uh, but general knowledge for you. So there's some current affairs questions in here and then some other bits and pieces. General knowledge that you may or may not know. We start with question one. Uh, question one, who is suing various social media sites for blocking them from using them? So who is suing various social media sites for blocking them from using them? Uh, question number two, I love this story. Question number two, a man in Austria that is spelt right, it was definitely Austria, was bitten by what while sat on the toilet? Was it an alligator, a snake, or a mouse? So a man in Austria was bitten by what while sat on the toilet? An alligator, a snake, or a mouse? Question number three, a prankster in Australia has filled a claw machine. You know, those teddy machines where you've got the, yeah. A prankster in Australia has filled a claw machine with what this week owing to a shortage? Uh, is it toilet rolls, handbags or monopoly money? So a prankster in Australia has filled a claw machine with what this week owing to a shortage? Uh, toilet rolls, handbags or monopoly money? Uh, number four, the Queen has visited which fictional Manchester pub this week? Uh, was it the Queen Victoria, the Rover's Return, or the Woolpack? So the Queen has visited which fictional Manchester pub this week? The Queen Victoria, the Rover's Return, or the Woolpack? Uh, question number five, the TGB is the high-speed rail network in which country? So the TGB is the high-speed rail network in which country? Number six, what is the name of the independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains? So what is the name of the independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains? Question number seven, a dactylogram is an impression of what? Is it a celebrity, fingerprint or accents? So a dactylogram 
is an impression of what? Celebrity, fingerprint, or accents? Uh, question number eight. Antarctica is recognised by the United Nations as its own country. Is that true or false? So Antarctica is recognised by the UN as its own country. True or false? Uh, question number nine. As of today, 8th of July, who holds the record for most gentlemen singles titles at Wimbledon? So as of today, the 8th of July, who holds the record for most gentlemen singles titles at Wimbledon? And your final question for this evening, apart from your tiebreaker in a bit, but which channel did David Walliam swim in 2006 in aid of sport relief? So which channel did David Walliam swim in 2006 in aid of sport relief? <laughs> there we go. So that is all of your questions for this evening. Uh, so we're going to take a short break in just a second, give you time to put those answers. And if you need to revisit any of those 20 questions from both of those round fives, uh, they're up on social media now. They'll be on Twitter and Instagram now if you want to head on over there. So we're going to take another short break and let you have time to put your answers together. When we come back, I have got a date for your diaries for something that is coming up at the end of August. Very exciting. Something we've done before, but not done very well before. Uh, so maybe this time it might be a bit better now that we've got the right ideas in place. I'll let you know after the break. See you that one very shortly.
I'm sorry, graders. You'll have to log back into Zoom. I'm really sorry. I just kicked all of the grade. I just jumped in to make sure I'd check on something on um, with the quiz jockey graders. And instead of leaving the meeting, I just ended the meeting completely. So it's still there. You can jump back in. Sorry, guys. Um, you'll be able to get back in. Uh, right, yeah, so we'll give you the answers in just a second. So, date for your diaries, a date for your diaries, a very exciting one. Uh, 29th of August, it is a Sunday. I know, a Sunday, what are you doing? Uh, it's the Sunday before bank holiday, uh, starting at 8 in the morning. We're going again. We are going to get this dastardly record that we uh, unfortunately weren't awarded, not through any fault of Guinness, it was my own fault, like I said, with the video file. So I've been working for the last few weeks on procedures, how to get it, everything boxed off, how to get everything right. So on the 29th of August, Sunday the 29th of August, starting at 8 a.m., so we we'll start at 8 a.m. and we're going to run all the way through till 8 o'clock on Bank Holiday Monday. So I think it works out. It's about 36 hours, I think it is. The record's 33. So we're going to go past the record and then finish. Um, so yeah, Sunday and then Bank Holiday Monday, we're going again. We're going to get it this time. We're, I'm going to make sure everything is robust. Everything is bulletproof and there can be nothing that I will overlook this time. Um, so yeah, join us for that. More information will be coming along about that over the next few weeks because obviously we're going to need witnesses again like we did last time. Uh, we're going to need people, you know, get, need you guys to get involved as well because we have a minimum amount that we have to have watching it every, every hour. Um, all the fun and games as last time and Game of Thrones round might even make a return as well. The good news with this one, though, is because of the way I've got to record the videos. Um, so what I'm going to do is it's going to be recorded every hour and then there'll be a new video created. So I'll have 33 videos effectively at the end of it. It will mean that I'll be then able to re-upload it afterwards to uh, to youtube so if you miss a specific round or there's a round or a quiz that you want to see in the early hours of the morning and you're not up for that which you completely get um you'll be able to watch it back as well and which you couldn't do last time because obviously the video file was corrupted so yeah 29th of august it's a sunday starting at eight in the morning we go again and we are going to get it this time definitely yes <laughs> uh, so yeah so we're looking forward to that that's going to be a lot of fun that one uh, if you were there for any of the last one you'll know that, that basically people were there just to watch me fall drastically into a meltdown um but yeah it was good fun and great to watch uh right let's get you some answers then for the final part of the quiz so swap your quiz sheets over uh that one there uh so should swap your sheet over and let's see how you did so we started with the connections around then, uh, 10 on these. Question number one, uh, what name is given to the cold-blooded vertebrae animals with gills and fins living wholly in water? It is fish. Number two, complete the name of the vegetable, veg vegetable fat spread. I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, number three, someone who is described as showing a modest or low estimate of someone's importance is described as being what? It is humble. That's the dictionary definition for that, by the way. I've literally, word for word, lifted that out of the Oxford Dictionary for that one. Uh, number four, what is the main name given to meat from a pig? Pork. Um, <laughs> Malcolm? Okay. Uh, number five, what name is given to the whiskey beginning with S that must be aged in oak barrels for at least three years? It's scotch. And number six, what word beginning with C can describe a small house or holiday home typically found in the countryside? It is cottage. Number seven, which vegetable is traditionally carved at Halloween? It's pumpkin. Number eight, what word can go before airline and express to make new company names? It's American. Wow, this American pie. Uh, number nine, Tim Cook replaced Steve Jobs as CEO of which brand? It was Apple. That is Apple. So number 10, what links them all together? They are all types of pie. I threw humble and American pie in there to try and throw a few of you off the scent, but it didn't work. So yeah, all types of pie. Jebral knowledge, then your final 10 to finish off and then your tiebreaker. Number one, who is suing various social media sites for blocking them from using them? Uh, it's Donald Trump. How that's going to work, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, number two, a man in Austria was bitten by what while sat on the toilet? It was a snake. 
came up through the uh, U-Bend. Uh, number three, uh, Prankster in Australia has, fi uh, has filled a claw machine with what this week? Owing to a shortage, it's toilet rolls. Great picture of just this big claw machine and loads and loads of toilet rolls piled into it. Uh, number four, the Queen has visited which fictional Manchester pub this week? It's the Rover's Return. Two reasons. One, Queen Victoria's in London. All packs in, well, Yorkshire, stroke Leeds. Uh, number five, the TGV is the high-speed rail network in which country? It's France. Number six, what is the name of the independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains? It is Andorra. Uh, number seven, a dactylogram is an impression of your fingerprint. So it's basically another word for fingerprint, dactylogram. Number eight, Antarctica is recognised by the UN as its own country. It is false. It's not recognised by the UN as a country. Uh, there's 47, I think it was, countries that lay claim to part of Antarctica. And there are still spaces in Antarctica that can be claimed, I believe. Uh, number nine, as of today, 8th of July, who holds the record for most gentlemen singles titles at Wimbledon? It is Roger Federer, not Cliff Richard. And finally, number 10, which channel did David Williams swim in 2006 in aid of sport relief? It was the it was the English channel. Not quite sure how you would swim the shopping channel, if I'm honest, but there you go. So there we go. That is your 50 answers for this evening. How have you got on? Tot your scores up. Um, I'm going to I've got a tiebreaker for you. So if you're on a if you're on a tie. Uh, this will separate you, so nearest to it gets the point. And your tiebreaker is this. So, the uninhabitable granite islet of Rockall in the Atlantic Ocean, claimed to be UK territory, although it's not been recognised, is how many square feet? I had never heard of this place until today. I was looking at something else and this popped up. It actually ties in with the Antarctica question about places in the, in the world that are not claimed and can be claimed. Uh, but yes, the uninhabitable granite islet of rock or in the Atlantic Ocean, claimed to be UK territory, although not recognised, is how many square feet? The answer shortly. But yeah, no, I was looking for places that are... That don't have a, a country claim and things like that. I'm searching for some of these and this place called Rockall popped up. So give you the answer then in three, two, one. Eight thousand four hundred and forty-two square feet. It's not that big, that place. It's uninhabitable as well, so you can't actually live on it, but the UK are claiming it and um no one's they're not recognizing it at the moment but yeah 8442 nearest person to that it's the point there you go so that is your quiz for thursday the 8th of july thank you very very much for joining us thank you very much for being with us as always uh, we always appreciate your company on a thursday and also a saturday night uh, for those of you who are new we do this every thursday and every saturday as well so we're live again on saturday night same time 7 40 7 50 i'm here and then 8 15 we start the quiz uh, so yeah thank you very much for joining us let us know as always across all of social media your scores let us know how you got on um and you know has anyone out there have you managed to get to 50 have you done it i know lots of you were hoping for it have you managed to get there let us know as always uh thank you very much for being with us thank you very much for playing let's say we're back on live on saturday night uh and yeah don't forget that date for your diaries august 29th sunday august 29th we go again to try and break that guinness world record we will see you soon thanks as always and as always from me take care we'll see you soon stay safe <music>